Hello, and welcome to High Voltage Low Current, unlocking the power of hybrid inverters. I'm your host, Jennifer, and today we are digging into the question, why would you choose a high voltage inverter over a low voltage one? Whether you are a new solar owner or a veteran installer, the right inverter and battery configuration can drastically improve the performance and longevity of your renewable energy system. In this episode, we will highlight two popular hybrid inverters, the Solus S6, EH1P11.4KHUS, a high voltage solution, and the Daysun 12KSG02LP2US, a 48 volt low voltage option. We will explore their recommended wire sizes, but more importantly, show you why you might strongly consider going high voltage in the first place. Let's get started. First, let us talk about the Solus S6 11.4 kilowatt inverter. This is a high voltage hybrid inverter, meaning it typically operates at anywhere from 120 to 500 volts on the battery side. That is a big range, but one key advantage stands out. Lower current, smaller wires. At higher voltage, you need fewer amps to move the same amount of power. For instance, the Solus inverter charges and discharges the battery at up to 50 amps. Now, 50 amps multiplied by 1.25 to account for continuous load per the National Electrical Code, gives you about 62.5 amps. That means you can often use six American wire gauge AWG copper for relatively short runs, or four AWG if you want extra capacity or have a tricky install. Compared to a lower voltage inverter pushing 200 to 250 amps, that is a dramatic difference in cable gauge. Efficiency and heat reduction. Because current is lower at higher voltages, there is less resistive heating in the wires. Less heat generation can mean better overall efficiency and reduce stress on your components. That translates into a longer lifespan for your system and potentially more usable energy harvested from your solar panels. On the other side, we have the Dai 12 kilowatt, a 48 volt hybrid inverter. This model can produce up to 12 kilowatts of power, which is quite substantial for a 48 volt system. But that high power means high current, often hitting 240 or even 250 amps. At 250 amps, the National Electrical Code wants us to multiply by 1.25, getting 312.5 amps. Single run wires of that capacity can be massive. Think 400 kilo circular mill copper, or you may opt for parallel runs of 2 aught or 3 aught AWG. That's a lot of copper, a lot of conduit space, and it can be more expensive and more complex to install. So, while low voltage still appeals to many because of its wide availability of 48 volt batteries and familiarity among installers, it does mean dealing with higher current, bigger wires, and potentially more heat. So, why consider high voltage? 1. Lower current, lower cable cost. High voltage inverters typically require thinner or fewer wires. For a large residential or small commercial system, that can reduce both material and labor costs over the life of the system. Two. Improved overall efficiency. Running at higher voltage means less loss in conductors and potentially better inverter efficiency. You are likely to see more consistent performance, especially under heavy loads. Three, reduced heat and longer system life. Less heat buildup can translate into extended longevity for both the inverter and cables, saving money on replacements or repairs. The Solus S6 only uses a heat sink for cooling, no loud fans required. To recap, the Solus S6 EH1P11.4KHUS high voltage inverter handles about 50 amps of battery current. After applying the 1.25 multiplier, cable sizing in the 6 or 4 American wire gauge range often suffices. That is substantially less copper than a lower voltage, high current system would need. The Dai Sun 12KSG02 LP2US low voltage inverter can push 240 to 250 amps. You might need parallel runs of 2 aught or 3 aught AWG, or enormous single conductors, to safely handle over 250 amps of continuous load. If you have a large solar array or plan to expand your battery storage over time, high voltage inverters can offer significant advantages in terms of efficiency, cost, and ease of wiring. On the other hand, if you are already set up for 48 volts or have modest load requirements, a low voltage inverter may still be a strong and familiar choice. Thank you for listening to High Voltage Low Current, unlocking the power of hybrid inverters. 
We hope this overview helps you make an informed decision about which inverter type is best for your situation. Remember, wire sizing and system design must adhere to your local code requirements and best practices. Always consult a licensed electrician or qualified solar installer to finalize any plans. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe, leave a review, and share it with a friend who wants to optimize their solar setup and visit our new website, diysolarfarm.com. Until next time, keep your wires cool, your panels shining, and your batteries ready for the future.